Welcome back, Am Fishers. I'm Bill Dropolis, the host of the Am Fish Fishing Vlog series. This is just a quick little video uh, on flipping jigs, uh, one modification that does add a little more uh, weedlessness to the actual bait itself. So many of you use um, flipping jigs, swim jigs. Um, this one that happens to be a flipping jig. Uh, great bass bait, great bait in general. Uh, but there's one little tweak that I do to this, and you can probably see it there now. I've got a few of those strands, and zoom back out. I've got a few of the strands of the actual weed guard. Let me move this skirt out of the way. So here are the weed guard strands themselves. And as you can see, I have a couple of them that are running through a little piece of silicone that's attached to the hook. So what this does, it's a little trick I've started to do uh, for the last couple of years. You have your guard up here, which is the majority of the strands, uh, protecting your hook. But what I've done is I've sealed that little gap there. Sometimes you'll get weeds that'll go around this or over this and get snagged on the hook. So this kind of serves two purposes for me. One, I have my first layer of protection weed guard here. Second layer is the one that runs through that little silicone uh, sleeve that I have on the hook as an extra barrier. And another use that this comes in handy for is if you have a soft plastic running attached on the bottom here as a trailer, it won't fly off. Uh, once you have it rigged like this, sometimes you've got a fish on and the soft plastic will go flying. Uh, it may tear off, but if, even if this little silicone uh, ring moved over to this area here, it's going to keep your soft plastic from actually flying off because sometimes, you know, the little chunks will back off and fly off a hook. Um, you can get little silicone sleeves like this. I've got a few here. Let's put them down and kind of zoom back out. Uh, again, they're just little pieces of silicone. Uh, with a hole in them. Let me see if I can get that without it being blurry. So there's the hole. Um, very tiny little pieces as you can see next to my fingernail. Nothing uh, nothing special. But they work great. Uh, a pack of them is uh, fairly inexpensive. You can probably even get them in hobby stores, craft shops or something like that. But it's just something I started to do. If you fish a lot of sunken trees, uh, structure, stump stuff like that where you can get hung up, uh, you know, having that weed guard is great. You know, and I'll leave it long. Uh, in a couple of my past videos, I've mentioned that I usually sometimes will cut it down to the hook. That's if I'm more in uh, around the structure, not def not casting directly into the structure. You'll want the weed guard as long as possible right out of the package when you're fishing a lot of that heavy structure where you know you can get hung up very quickly and easily. Uh, sometimes it'll happen right on the first cast as you jig this up off the bottom. So leave that weed guard up high and an experiment with this, I've got uh, three strands of the weed guard running through that little silicone strip. I can do four. Uh, I wouldn't probably go more than four because then you may compromise how that it's actually rigged there. But again, it's just a little extra barrier. Um, just show you how easily this actually comes off. Let me move this. Doesn't impact uh, fish strikes, fish hook sets or anything like that. If a fish does strike this, it comes out pretty easily. As you saw there, I just pulled it right off. Uh, so it's not going to really compromise that. You can move this sleeve over a little bit more, um, but it's a great little thing. It just sits there on the on that on the edge of the hook, right by the barb. Uh, so it will move once a fish bites this. This will slide further down, and I'll move it down uh, with my finger without getting hooked. So it will move like that once a fish takes your bait and starts to run. It's not going to compromise the the barb or the hook set at all. All it is is just a little resting point there. It's almost kind of similar to like a mouse trap. Um, it's a little resting point. This can move up easily. Uh, you can also use these again, just in general, if you don't want to do that extra weed guard process there, you can just stick this on there back there past your, uh, to hold your soft plastic on. Uh, it's a little tip I want to pass uh, along to everyone. I get questions on uh, jig fishing uh, quite a bit through my YouTube channel. And uh, I thought I'd share this one. I hadn't done a video on it and um, recently got a few questions about jig fishing from shore and stuff like that. I know that can be a challenge, especially with a lot of uh, sunken trees and boulders and, and whatnot when it comes to structure. So give this a try, guys. Like I said, these silicone little tabs here, uh, you can probably grab at a fishing store under a dollar a pack. I think I don't know how many come in a package. Uh, 25 or something like that but it, they'll probably have a few different brands you can probably even just get a longer uh, tube yourself silicone tube and, and snip it down to any size that you want but it's a great little tip add that little extra layer of weedless uh, to a jig that's already uh, pretty weedless itself 
So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, for free, feel free to do so. And you can also visit my website for more tips uh, and more information on this strategy here, www.amfish.ca. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.